exhaust. That's the call. You hear that noise? Mm hmm Just listen. Let them hear it. That's the compressor. This is a compressor which is under here for the air horns. I have fire engine air horns. Uh, I'll let you listen to them now if you want, but the tank is not full. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's a foot switch right here. So when you're running, you just go like this. Where's the fire? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's cool. Now, I'll start them up. Blower. Blower. I'll open the hatch. I'm replacing the two springs in there. The outdrive, see I'm putting them up. Okay. Now they're all up. The trim tabs are up. Now if I'm running the boat, I want to put the bow down. You see? These are the tabs. It's kind of rough today. We'll try to do a quick run in the, in the intercoastal. That's like four or five feet out there, which isn't uh, speedboat weather. season so it can't go fast at all and out in the ocean it's uh, uh, it's like four or five foot waves so I couldn't do a full speed run unfortunately as much as we wanted to this is the blower of course and I've got two blowers off this switch I got one blower blowing air into the bilge and another blower sucking it out when you turn this on or off it activates both blowers. This is the battery parallel switch that if it can't start, if you're on individual batteries, you push it up and it brings both batteries online to start one engine. And this switch, if you push it down, it activates the macerator pump from the toilet. That's the shit switch. The shit switch. This is uh, accessories, which is the depth finder. This here is the courtesy lights, which are lights around the base of the boat. This is a horn switch, doesn't work. So maybe you want to convert the macerator pump to this switch so you have them separated. Because the horn that I have is this one. It's fire engine horn and it's got a compressor and an air tank and it costs $4,000. And it's a so foot pedal. It's a foot pedal, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel. Panel lights, navigation light, anchor light is down. Your bilge pumps, I have two bilge pumps. The one forward is the center bilge pump in the engine compartment. It's a big pump, 1,500 gallons per minute or hour, whatever it is. And then you push it down, and there's another bilge pump in the V part of the transom that gets the water out, and you use that when you're on plane. Engine room lights, and this is the hatch lift that makes the hatch go up and down. And this is your switch, it's not labeled. 
for the silence of the engines. We're on silent now. Now over here, we have a switch here for the compressor. You leave it on, and every time you hit the, the switch for the horns, it pumps more air in the tank in the compressor. You leave it off, you blow the horn, and it will uh, deplete the air from the tank. This is your trim tabs. This is your outdrives. This is the tab indicator, the outdrive indicator. And of course, we have oil pressure here, port and starboard. We have temperature port and starboard, and we have battery voltage port and starboard. We have your RPM gauge, and we have a speedometer here, which really works. It's a stainless steel, very heavy-duty aluminum pitted tube in the in the back of the transom. And when you go over 20 miles an hour, it'll start to register, and it's totally accurate. Fuel says full because I just filled it up. You have 160 gallons of fuel in there right now, at uh, roughly four and a half dollars a gallon. So you're at uh, five, six hundred dollars. This is a stereo fuel. remote. This is the stereo where you got uh, the thumb drive, the CD player, the radio, and it's controlled the stereo system if you open up the hatch, which is down there, the control panel. You have a uh, three bank battery charger that you turn on, it gives you, you know, your voltage, and then you have all your DC current for your stereos and lights down below. The boat is self-contained is a very Richie compass here that is totally functional and steady as a rock. You need one that's steady, that has light, uh, thick viscosity, because when you're running fast, you don't want the compass to be spinning. So it's a very tight, uh, tight compass. And uh, down here is your fire system. It shows it's activated. Here's your uh, engine hours. It says uh, uh, higher than it is, but there's only about 120 hours on it now, 130 hours at the most cigarette lighter, phone charger, everything is working and then all of a sudden your kill switch is here that this gets pulled out because this is attached to you if you should fall down or drop dead and the engine stop. And then I have a spare down below so that if a man falls overboard you can put the switches back and go pick them up. That's pretty much it. This is a, a hell of a boat. I hate to see it go and of course all your four speakers, woofers, I mean it's just uh, a great boat for its age. And I put in close to $80,000 in it over the past uh, five years. And have all the uh, main